Today, I wanted to highlight a free and open source application called PCAP Droid that allows you to track, analyze, and block the connections made by user apps and system apps on your Android device. On the surface, this application does not require root access to perform its most basic tasks, but if you're looking to sniff packets, to view what your device is transmitting, then you will need root access. This application primarily works by creating a local VPN directly on your device. It will then connect to that VPN so that you can log and display all of the connections made by the applications installed on your device. You can also choose to extract the SNI, the DNS query, the HTTP URL, and the remote IP address of those connections. The app also allows you to inspect the HTTP requests and replies by using built-in decoders and it offers a way for you to inspect the full payload of the connections as a hex dump or via text. It has a feature to allow you to decrypt the HTTPS and TLS traffic so that you can export the SSL keylog file while also giving you the ability to dump the traffic to a PCAP file, which you can then download it from a browser or stream it to a remote receiver for real-time analysis, similar to Wireshark. Using this app, you can create rules to filter out the good traffic from your apps and games, which can help you to easily spot the anomalies. It also offers a way for you to identify the country and the ASN of the remote servers that your phone is connecting to, and it does this by using an offline database lookup system. And as I mentioned on rooted devices, you can even capture the traffic so that you can analyze what is actually being transmitted to and from your device. All of these features are free with the PCAP Droid, but there are some paid features available in the app. For example, including a firewall so that you can create rules to block individual apps domains, and IP addresses without root access is a paid feature. It has a malware detection feature so that you can monitor the connections made to your device and compare them to third-party blacklists. And another paid feature allows you to dump the packets in a PCAPNG format to allow embedding TLS decryption keys. And even if you didn't download this from the Google Play Store, you can even unlock these paid features after you have downloaded the app from GitHub or from F-Droid. If you're wanting to target a specific app on your device, you can do that by enabling this toggle here and then finding the app in the list. You can dump all the information either to a HTTP server, a PCAP file, or a UDP exporter. And when we dive into the settings, you can see that we can set the HTTP server port, our UDP exporter information, here are the individual options if you're looking to inspect the traffic of your device. By default, the block private DNS feature is going to be enabled. If you're wanting to 
look up your IP addresses and servers, then you're going to need to download that database locally. From here, we can enable TLS decryption, enable the PCAPNG format that I mentioned. You can block QUIC connections to possibly fall back to a decryptable TLS. However, make note that some apps may stop working if you enable this. And you can show the full payload of the connections. This does require a lot of RAM, so it's best not to keep this on all the time in the background. And you have the ability to redirect all TCP connections to a, the specified SOX5 proxy. Here we can enable the root access so that you can capture as root. We can choose which interface that we want to capture the traffic on. We can enable the application to start right when the phone boots up. And we can add a PC AP Droid trailer containing additional metadata, such as the application name, to the dumped packets. Here's the malware detection feature that I mentioned earlier as well. So if you are wanting to sniff the packets and analyze all of the network traffic going to and from your device, then you will need to enable the capture as root option. And then you'll likely want to enable the full payload since Without enabling this, the payload will be truncated. With those two features enabled, we can come up here to start the connection. It will ask for root access. You'll see the prompt appear if you have not granted root access previously. And then while the application is running, we can monitor things in the connections tab. So we can see what applications are making connection requests to what IP addresses. And we can even tap into one of these to not only get an overview, but to also look at the full payload. If you're curious about the data coming in and going out of your device, then an application like PC AP Droid could allow you to find out what is going on. I have read that some websites may have issues loading while this is running, but this won't be a problem for all of them. And you'll have better luck using this app to track analyze and block connections made by first party and third party apps installed on your smartphone or tablet.